Hey everyone, welcome to another thousand dollar strap search. I got my thousand in singles here and I'm about to show you what I found in these stacks. Uh, before I do that, we'll talk about this week's hint. Um, stay safe. How's that for a hint? <laughs> I know a lot of you guys want to run out to the banks and get stuff to search. I know you guys want to get boxes and paper money and all kinds of different things to look through. Money is one of the dirtiest things that you can handle. Uh, these things just absorb germs. Be aware of that. Um, right now you can't really go into a lot of lobbies around here you have to go through drive throughs so getting singles is not the easiest thing for me to do luckily I got a bunch of them before all this happened so I'm able to film a bunch of videos with my in-house supply <laughs> all right so be safe that's that's this week's hint all right so my thousand singles let's take a look and see what I found I found oh where's George you know I'm going to check this one out. Where's George.com? I recognize that label. It's probably from the same gentleman that I've been seeing a lot of these from, but I will log it anyway. All right, we got some trinaries. Ones, threes, and fives. Not in the greatest of shape. Zeros, ones, and nines on this trinary. Also not too good. Uh, zeros, fours, and sixes. And fives, fours, and sixes on this one. One away from a trinary, if that's six, but we don't talk about ifs and buts on these particular notes. They are what they are. Zeros, ones, and threes here. And this is ones, fours, and fives. Now, I mentioned before, I always collect my trinary so that I can try to find uh, bills that have the same serial number. That's my way of at least limiting some of the bills rather than saving everything and hoping to stumble across two of a kind. Uh, this is quads. I've got quad fours here. It starts with a pair and there is a fifth four in there as well as being a trinary fours, sixes, and sevens. So this particular bill has all kinds of stuff to make it desirable. Everything except condition. <laughs> quad sixes on this one. It does have the fifth six to go with it. So five of a kind, four in a row. And then I got some stars. Uh, 2013 here, 2013 here. These aren't too bad. This one's a little rough. 2013, that one's a lot rough, I should say. I'm missing the whole top there. So this is probably going to be my rare note that I, when I look them up, that's just my luck. Whenever I find something written on or taped together, it seems to be that that's a rare one. A couple zeros to start this one out. Maybe that'll be something. I always show my stars because I don't look them up right away. I wait till I have about 150 or 200 of them because it just takes way too long to do these one at a time. I'd much rather do them all together. Now, these are my older notes. This one is 1999, 1995. 1995 is the uh, one of the three notes that you can find a web press note. I've talked about web press notes in other videos. Those are available in 88A, 93, and 95. What you're looking for is, see where that A is? If that A is not there, or any other letter, all you want to see on a web note is just that teeny tiny little number right there. And then on the back of the note, you will find the plate number here. The plate number on a web note is going to be up here by In God We Trust. So that's what you're keying on as far as those. Also for the 1995s, as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, if you find 1995 or older, a star note with an I on it, that's something you just don't see very often. Those are extremely rare as well. Uh, this one's also 1995, a little bit rough condition. 1993, this is actually in decent shape. Good color, good quality on the paper. A little dirt dot over there. This one is 1993. And the oldest note of the group is just a 1988A. So those were my finds from my $1,000 strap search. And uh, let's see, what do I have in here? Well... I don't usually do requests, but somebody requested something I didn't have, so I brought out the closest thing I could. Uh, somebody was asking if I had a $1 1928 legal tender. I do not. I didn't realize how scarce those were. Here I am going through all these singles, and there's a single that I don't have. Uh, but I did manage to pull out uh, from my safety deposit box. This here is a 1928 A $5 legal tender. 1928 $5 legal tender. You can read the inscription here. Uh, this note is legal tender as its face value for all debts, public and private, except duties on imports and interest on the public debt. 
So you'll notice that this is called a United States note, a legal tender note. It is not a Federal Reserve note. Uh, it's not guaranteed by the Federal Reserve. It's not a silver certificate or a gold certificate, so there's nothing backing it that way. But the legal tender notes were actually backed by the purchase of bonds. Um, the government issued so many millions of dollars in bonds, and they had to print notes of that equivalent. Uh, the bonds would guarantee the price of the notes. Take a look at the back here. Since it is an older note, you'll see it does not say in God we trust on the top here. So it's one of the godless notes. But it does have the familiar back that we're all used to seeing. Now this particular one you can see does have a pretty heavy crease right through there. And as we come a little closer, it's got some dirt showing some wear. Definitely a circulated note. But still, that would be a 1930 or 1928A legal tender. So let's take a look at the book and see what the book has to say about these. Here's the book. And let's flip open. Take that out of there. There is the note that I just showed, and before I do that, let's see what this is here. Legal tender notes. Uh, only one, two, five, and one hundred dollar notes were issued and are now all obsolete. The act of May 3rd, 1878 decreed that the amount of United States notes outstanding must be maintained at $346 million. Um, and the requirement was last satisfied through circulation of the one hundred dollar note. In a nutshell, what that means is they had to put that much, that $346 million in circulation. And by the time they got to, what was it, 1966, they hadn't had that obligation fulfilled. That's why you have $1 notes, $2 notes, $5 notes, and then by the time we get to 1966, they started pumping out the $100 notes. To satisfy that obligation to put out that much into circulation um, there is the one dollar that I don't have and it was only issued in 1928 I've shown two dollar notes already but here is my five dollar uh, five dollar issue 1928 a right there 1928 a woods and mills are the signatures on it they made 58 million of these they start out at 1250 and they run up quickly to 50 bucks and if it's choice uncirculated, you're talking $425 for this particular note. So, that's what the book has to say about that. Let me just lock this up here. So there it is. My 1928A $5 legal tender note. That's what I've got for you guys this week. If you learned anything new, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I love putting out this stuff. I love reading you guys' comments. Thanks for watching, and thanks for commenting down below. I'll talk to you guys next week. Stay safe, everyone.